time and the and the sweet cold drink in the <laughs> Oh, I'll be beside you every step away. Right Welcome to Berlin, Germany. I finally made it to my hotel. It's a space capsule hotel, but I couldn't check in right away. I'm so incredibly tired. I've been traveling for days without any sleep. Most capsule hotels, you can't check in until two or three, so I had to wait. I waited it out at a coffee shop and kind of explore the city a little bit. I'll do a full tour of the Space Capsule Hotel in a separate video if you want me to, just leave a comment. For now, let's get into Berlin, and in my point of view, solo traveling autistic female version. <laughs> I know a lot of people love the club scene in Berlin and parties and all of this and that, but I do not. I do not like parties in large groups of people. I'm sorry. It's just not my thing. So I was going out just to trying to find the gym and um, I found one. The reason they don't do, like Germany doesn't do day passes and this gym is no exception, but he looked me in. I'm so grateful. So big shout out to, I don't know his name, but shout out to the guy who works at this gym. I forget the gym name as well. but. Shout out, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, leave it to me to like, there's like a huge party going outside. I'm like, where's the gym? Excuse me, excuse me, try to get into the gym. <laughs> right. I guess I missed the party. Oh man. <laughs> I do, the biggest critique I get on my travel videos is that I don't show enough and I talk too much about my own feelings. But this is just what it is for right now. Point of view, you're on a date with me and I got a vegan hamburger and I'm eating it now. Stop watching me eat. I was so excited to find a capsule hotel in Berlin though, and I can't wait to show you a video on it. But there's no air conditioning, and it's very stuffy and hot in there. It's very strange to wake up to. I'm going to a very special place today. Hopefully they're open, I don't know, it's Sunday. Everything seems to be closed on Sunday, but it's a museum. The Museum of the Future. So that's what I'm doing today. What are you doing? You can come with me if you want. I want to make this a collective thing that we can do together. And the first thing we always have to do first, you guys know, is to get coffee. I need coffee. To me, it's the simple, free <laughs> things that I enjoy the most whenever I travel. So I love to just walk around and just look at everything. I, I don't really like public transportation, so I like to be in walking distance to places. So we're walking to the Futuri Futurium Museum, which I'm so excited about because as you guys may know, I love futurism, I love cyberpunk, I love robots, and this is where I'm going to finally see some robots and future stuff. Horrible, horrible news. I just got to the place I was going to, but then I realized I lost my headphone container to charge them. I can't do without that, so, so I'm, I'm retracing my steps. This is what I'm doing today. I'm going to find it. A tragedy if I don't because I can't deal without my headphones. So I can't, I can't deal with God, I don't know where they could have gone. I keep putting things in a pocket, and every time I put things in that pocket, they disappear. I think it's a void to a different dimension. And fuck, why do I have to be my headphones? I can't believe I found it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm so tired of walking. Let's just not go. No, I'm just kidding. I really want to go to this museum, but my feet hurt so bad because it's been a walk to get here. I have to, have to retrace my steps all the way back to find this. But I found it. I always need a pair of headphones with me, uh, my headphones, so that's why that was such a big deal. But we're finally in the museum. We, I got to see robots and lights and very cool futuristic concepts. It was amazing. And I highly recommend if you're in Berlin to go because it is free. Also in walking distance to that museum is the Berlin Museum of Medical History, the Modern and Contemporary Art Museum and Animals and Dinosaur and Meteorite Museum. The Futurium Museum also let you go up on the very top and see all the solar panels. Baking just in the future. I love the future. I don't want to go home. I have to go home. <laughs> Thank you, Berlin. My new, my new goal in every city is just to visit every futuristic thing that I can, and then it'll make me feel like I'm actually living in the future because that's my life. You create your own reality, so someday I'm gonna marry a robot. <laughs> I do tend to avoid all crowds of people, but I do look at them from a distance and pretend that I went. I have a lot of footage of the food that I eat while I travel, but I've cut a lot of it out because I don't know if that's interesting to you guys. So comment below if you're interested in that or not. Otherwise, I'll not film it. Okay, it's definitely gonna rain. I think I'm gonna be caught out in the rain. I have no jacket or anything. It's fun. <laughs> but I need to get groceries first though, because I'm gonna get hungry later. Gotta go forage for food. Another one of my favorite things to do is to just look and observe. It doesn't have to be something touristy or something you have to pay for, but even just, I like looking at trains and the public transportation and the aesthetics of everything because I have a very creative eye and I like to take pictures and film everything. There are definitely pros and cons to staying in capsule hotels. Um, some of the cons are that you have to crawl in and out all the time and you also can't store your stuff and you don't really have a lot of space. This thing looked German and I don't remember what it's called but I wanted to try it to, to feel cultured. <laughs> it was, it, okay, it wasn't that great. Welcome to Berlin. Well, inside an easy hotel. Why is my voice like this? Guys, I've been alone for so long now, okay? That's why. I haven't, I'm not used to talking. This is the first time I've spoken the whole day. I just realized <laughs> this is really awkward. Hold on. <coughs> Let me just come back here. Anyways, hi, I'm at an Easy Hotel. It's the most budget hotel I could find in Berlin. Um, probably get a room smaller, a bit smaller than this, 45. This one's 50. I'm going to get a memorial for my time in Germany. Hi. One friend from online, I have never met her, um, is going to give me a tattoo. I don't know her capabilities. Hopefully she's good. Uh, she's, and I was thinking, what could represent Germany? And then I got a lot of suggestions, okay? But they all were not for me. I'm not getting a pretzel. I'm not getting a beer. I'm just gonna get a little airplane just to signify travel. <laughs> I know it's kind of boring, but either that or a spaceship. I'm not sure yet. Just right across, right across, right across from the wolf, wolf, ice cream. Anyways, I'm gonna meet this girl for coffee. That's my update for Berlin vlogs. I'm getting lonely. The loneliness is setting in. Hey, let's talk about this actually. You wanna talk about this? It gets lonely while solo traveling sometimes for me. And you guys know that this is what I talk about primarily in my life, the loneliness. Um, and maybe this isn't as big a deal for other people or other travelers or blah, 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 blah. And you guys know I've talked a lot about how other travel influencers are and, and how you know they're outgoing and this and that. And I'm not. I hide away as much as I can. I do go out, obviously, and try to meet people as most I can, but it is hard and I do get lonely. And I don't actually have good solid plans when I'm traveling, so I'm always like, oh no, it's the end of the world. I'll never interact with a human ever again. And it's even lonelier while traveling because you're seeing all these cool things and you're like, oh, I wish I could, you know, share this with someone or not feel so like, a, like I stick out a lot and people do stare at me a lot. So being alone and being stared at a lot and trying to do things, it just gets 
to be a lot. So sometimes I want to just stay in my hotel. It's a lot funner to, to share these things with another person. That's the reality of it. Not everyone's gonna have that experience. This is my personal experience that most people probably wouldn't have. If you're going to solo travel, you're if you're not staying in hostels and stuff, even if you are, you know, it's okay to feel lonely. And I feel like people don't talk about that. And people think that, hey, stop complaining. Like you, you get to do this and this, you have so many followers, blah, blah, blah. I'm still valid in feeling lonely. And if you feel lonely while you're traveling, that's okay. Um, it's normal. Uh, especially when you're solo traveling. Even if you're traveling with another person and you're just not doing the same things, you can still feel lonely. But at the same time, I do value my alone time. So it's give and take. You know, you have to create a balance. I'm able to create a balance because I have followers that I can meet up with in the cities. It's going to be different when you go out there and you don't have like, you know, a social media following to, you know, hit up people to hang out with. You're going to meet people in hostels. You're going to have to, if you want to talk to people, you're going to have to talk to people. And that is hard for an introvert, and um, I'm very grateful for the following that I have. Uh, it'd be so much harder if I were doing this without that. And I don't know how I would do it, actually, because most of my friends that I've met have been through online. Life is customizable. Solo travel is customizable. Travel in general is customizable. That's the whole point of travel, is that you're not doing exactly what everyone else is doing. You can do it how you want and you can feel how you want about it. You don't have to go and see everything that everyone tells you to go see. You're like, oh, you went there and you didn't see this and this and this. No, I don't want to fucking see it. I don't care. I want to do whatever I want to do. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little too extreme with that. Anyways, even if you don't travel and you're lonely, it's normal. I love you. I hope I bring a little bit of less loneliness to you because we're all still in this together. I'm gonna go uh, meet this girl for coffee and then we're gonna get a tattoo. <gasps> Look at my lovely cappuccino. Oh, let's get that little bug out of there. Cappuccino. <laughs> Everything is very pink. Yes, it's a very pink place. Very pink. I was expecting uh, like a huge uh, piece of equipment. That'd be awkward. <laughs> it's actually a very nice little convenient. It has to be. I met my beautiful friend Susie. I am so grateful for all the, the girls that I've met while in Germany. They're all so amazing. And I love the talks that we've had and the time we've had together. I got my little tattoo and then the next day or so I took myself out on another trip, a little date, got a donut, splurged, and then went and saw some beautiful, beautiful uh, buildings. So this is the Berlin Cathedral and around it are tons and tons of museums. Obviously, like I said, I don't pay to get into places, but you can walk around and look at everything for free, which I highly recommend because it is gorgeous. I met up with my other friend, Christina, and she's a photographer and we did a photo shoot too, which was really, really nice. I wish I could make my life more interesting for you guys, but it is what it is. How are you, first of all? Tell me, straight, like, tell me out loud. Seriously, if you didn't say it out loud, how are you? Yeah, I feel that. I have advice for you that I've been thinking of today. Our brain is wired to see things that fit our narrative. So if we think that everything is shit, or things are just okay. We're gonna pick out everything in life that's shit or just okay. But if we search and change our brain wiring, which is very hard, to see the other things, that becomes our life. So hopefully we can try that together because I'm trying. I know that my traveling isn't typical, but I'm really, really low key. Like I don't, I don't like to talk to people unless I'm hanging out one-on-one -on -one with them. I, I don't like to do tourist things. It stresses me out, like paying for it, getting in, doing it, getting out. It's just a whole ordeal. And since this isn't really vacation for me, like traveling around is not vacation, it's something I do to expand myself. And I learn so much and I know that I should, you know, be more extroverted, but this is the Timid Traveler Chronicles for all you guys out there. I'm wondering if you can do it, you can. It's just fucking stressful. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna go out in Berlin, which I love Berlin, by the way. 
very beautiful. There's so many cool buildings. I'm gonna go do my laundry. Then I'm gonna go later tonight and go on a bus and our train and go back to Munich. Spend a few more days in Munich, then fly back to America for a second just to rest for a little bit because I'm really tired from traveling. So I had to reconvene with myself and figure out how to earn money again and where we're gonna go next, which I think I have an idea. Thank you for being here with me and listening to me. I, I'll see you in the next video. Stay extraterrestrial. Bye. Oh, I'll be beside you.